Welcome, oh. Welcome back to Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. Oh my. It's been one month since Dark Samus attacked us and knocked us unconscious and uh, put phase on in our bodies. Yikes. She's coming too. Can you hear me, Samus? Uh, 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 ah. Vital signs are stable. Welcome back, Samus. You've been asleep for quite some time. A month, to be exact. Uh, a month? You. Thanks to your great work, Norian is now safe. How oh, great. At the end of the battle, this is going to be free, right? Your hunters all unconscious. Our medical examinations then yielded surprising results. Your bodies are now somehow self-generating phazon. Oh. What's even stranger is that there are no negative effects to your health. This huh? led us to investigate if we could make effective use of this phazon. During the invasion of course. Of Norian, you must have noticed. You can use the phase on. Hmm. How can we uh, use this to our benefit? Let's they were see. Wearing what we call phase on That's the first thing on their minds. Oh yeah, there's no adverse effects. Let's use it. We integrated this same phase on enhancement. Now we're given a new suit. <gasps> while repairing your damaged Oh, bodies. that's an awesome looking suit. Troopers wearing this device have phase on pumped to their weapons from an external backpack. This gives them an extra boost in firepower. But in your case, so they're all holding the phase on with them. It's, ugh. You can fuel the PED using your own That's so risky energy. though. You shoot it one wrong way, it's going to blow up. Why don't you try the PED or now? give you space cancer. Seal well, we'll, we'll 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 take their word for it. We're going to get to the uh, other main PED gimmick of this program. game. Where the corruption. <laughs> I was just thinking corruption. That was cool. So if you take an entire tank of E. Oh, it's hyper mode! Hold plus, and you can go into hyper mode, which is where you fire entire beams of Phazon! Oh! Okay, and it is extremely limited. Okay. I thought I needed to shoot the front of these, but you can just shoot them. Oh, okay. Come on, turn, turn. There we go. Besides, this also shows off something else. Oh! It's a limited time. Yes. Oh! Either shoot until your phase on is depleted, or until 25 seconds pass. Devastating power. Over the past month, we've learned the hard way just how powerful our enemies are. To deal with them, you'll need the firepower of the PED suit. Make good use of it. Now that you I mean, it does make sense because we're gonna need to use phase on to defeat the phase on enemies. So. Fight fire with fire. Yeah. yeah. See, I, I was wondering. I was kind of hoping. And you know, Samus is probably still drowsy right now. I could just imagine what's going through her head and going like, "I've been asleep for a month. Where's Dark Samus?" Well, the other uh, hunters have woken up. They're all doing stuff. We just now woke up, and now we're ready to start kicking ass, because now we're pissed. Oh, I really hope the hunters aren't affected by corruption. I hope not either. We got a couple lore things over here. Okay. You know, we got to get back into the swing of things. Uh, you know, scan for lore, <laughs> shoot our beam. The actual PED device. Phase enhancement device is designed to harness the energy of phase on minerals originally discovered on Ether for a new Federation weapon system. It is being tested by a GF Marine Battalion stationed in the Norian system. Marines can initiate an energy siphon from a supply of phase on carried in a backpack into their armor suits. Allows them to temporarily enhance their exoskeletal and weapon systems of their armor suits to date. No Marines have displayed signs of phase on sickness. Well, eh, let's, uh... let's hope it stays that way. And here's the one for actual phase on itself. I call it space cancer, but it's a highly radioactive ore with extreme mutagenic properties, certain biological qualities, including the ability to reproduce itself. It's cancer! It affects the brains of sentient beings, causing erratic destructive behavior, potent source of energy. Oh, well, I mean, that's So, that's the only thing that makes it not cancer. <laughs> but, yeah, it's space cancer. It's like space cancer and space fossil fuels. So, I noticed they said no... Marines are sh showing signs of phase on sickness. How do they know that phase on sickness exists unless it happened once? They're probably from like testing and probably from Samus's extensive research onto it. No, oh, okay, that makes See, sense. See, it, it's been six months since uh, Prime Two. I find I found out. Oh, okay. So in that six months, I'm sure they found out quite a lot. 
So in that time, Dark Samus has just been like stewing over all this. It's just like, ah, oh, yeah, stupid. Building her forces. Yeah, and rage. This is familiar. That's where we saved earlier. Oh, okay. When we first came here. Now the big supercomputer wants to talk to us. Samus, you made it. Glad to hear you're feeling better. You've been cleared to enter the AU chamber. Please that would have been the perfect time for her to utter place. just like a you sickening, rattling cough. <laughs> Glad to see you're feeling better, Miss Aaron. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Talk to me, computer. Yep. Are we? Oh, we are moving. Going up to the chamber. Yeah. That was a very beautiful elevator. Am I gonna see the computer or Hannibal Lecter? I thought he, I thought he just banged his head on the device. Let me in, please. <laughs> Touch. All right, speak to me, Cortana. Hello, Clarice. Oh. Oh. Welcome, Samus Aaron. Let us begin. Time is most critical. During I've been out for a month. I'm sorry, okay? Let me give you the TLDR. These planets are named Rio and Elysia. These Leviathans have impacted and embedded themselves deep into the That sounds like a big monster we gotta kill. Yep, sounds like it's the same framework as uh, Prime 2 with the temples and the temple keys and all that. Right. Two weeks right. ago, we dispatched Rio. Right. Okay. And was sent to locate the space pirate stronghold. Right. Like you, they were outfitted with PED devices in order to confront this new threat. We lost oh, no. with all of them seven days ago. Oh no. <laughs> uh huh. In their absence, oh no. The first sign of corruption. Not calling mom back. It's been a whole week since uh, we've last we've last spoken with them. So, uh, looks like we're their last hope yet again. Woo! All right. Future of the of the universe depends on us once again. A again, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Good luck. Thanks, Mom. So, Samus is like, all right, got it, I'm <laughs> yeah, out of here. I noticed she ran as fast as possible, lost contact. Oh, no. Especially since she knows that all of them are infected with Phazon. She knows what this stuff is capable of. Oh, definitely, yes. And also, Dark Samus. Public enemy number one. Where the fuck did she go? Correct. Maybe she, she's somewhere out there. Don't know where, but somewhere out there. Good luck, Samus. Says the game devs. This means that the game has now officially begun. Sweet. Oh, do we get to choose where to- Yeah! Samus, the fleet is now moving to the rendezvous location. You will no longer be able to talk with us from this point forward. What? Can't go on the Olympus anymore. Make sure you got those lore and those skins and those uh, extra pickups. It's going to be a while before you come back again. If you ever do. Hmm. So, first stop we're heading is Brio. And who was on Brio? Sorry, I, I blinked. Rundus was on Brio. Rundus was on Brio. Three okay. planets here. That big one's Elysia. The smaller one over here is Brio. Alright. The place we can land right now is the Cliffside Air Dock. Which is where we will begin. Oh, this is cool. I'm I'm so down. Let's find our fellow hunters. Guys. So take care of the Leviathan, find Rundus, stop the space pirates. Easy. Seems simple enough. You could knock that out before lunch. Uh, oh. This place might be a little fucked. <laughs> <laughs> like it was fucked before. Now it's well and truly. But now it's got a big case of Phazon and, uh... 
that's like a, a bona fide planet killer for sure. But if we look at the lore, we'll see what actually happened to this place. Isn't it also said that Phazon is self-producing? Yeah. Reproducing, at least. Self-reproducing. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of Phazon very quickly. That's actually a scary thought, in, as the same thing with cancer. It doesn't go away very easily, and it keeps coming back. Oh, oh. Well, what computer? Right. Can I ram my ship through it? No, I think it's uh, super strong. I think Dark Sam has covered her tracks on that one. Damn it. So while we were out, Dark Samus was taking over planets. Great. So the seed has got some got some shield. It's got some generators, of course. Works just like Nor like Norian did. There is a downed GFS spacecraft nearby. I think that'll at least help us get our bearings and kind of get a better understanding about Brio and the world around it and what actually happened here. All right, let's get going. Scan. A few scans here. We got ourselves a cash plant, a mature one. It's basically where they store items and stuff like that. That one didn't have any, but that's okay. G okay, good example. <laughs> also got a younger one over here. That counts? Ordinary huh. cash plant. And an ordinary kush plant. Don't think that counts, but this is a spake bush. <laughs> okay. Some things count towards research, some don't. Like this one counts as research. Really? But not that bush. Huh. Okay. Look at this thing. It's a Brio native, encased in solid ice. Oh no, there it is. And he's still alive. There it is. Oh no. Maybe we can save this place. Uh, who knows, perhaps? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this place is screwed. Oh, who's that? Oh, he's gone. There was actually somebody there? That's a Gragnol. Huh. Just floating things that shoot at you and kind of pester you. I like that there was something in the distance that you could see for a couple seconds. Hmm. I think I think whoever they are, they know we're here. Interesting. I hope they say hi. Ordinary canisters. Large brio coffer. So the and usual a, song and dance. And a small brio coffer. Again, brilliant. Bit of a cliff-based, sandy planet. So while the worlds themselves are a bit more linear, they still do a lot with the with these big gigantic rooms. So we got a door over here, two specific locks. You see that there there's the orange lock, and back over here is the green lock. So start by jumping over here, up on this ledge. Hmm, big old puzzle room. This looks kind of, uh, unstable. Oh, that's because it is! Oh. It is unstable, okay. Great. Right. Well, we love that. Take a leap over here. I'm glad you know where you're going. Now, does that bridge go away forever? Yes. Awesome. Alright, that's the first lock. Oh, I like that. The, the shifting sands there. That's really cool. And they've they've uh, brought some friends as well. So how does anybody else activate things like this? Because from what I'm seeing, they were just looking for somebody with a power suit. Well, these are like ruins, so maybe they activated in some way that's like long been antiquated or destroyed or whatever. And then we just happened to fit in the Maybe there was, area. like, maybe there were stairs or, like, some special lifts that uh, would take you up to these places where you would drop these balls and unlock them. Maybe they had something that they could just, you know, and it would unlock that way. Okay. You can see that. So it looks like this thing, you need to destroy their little mini black hole that they're creating and then they explode. I mean, this place has fallen to war 
centuries ago, I'm sure. So there's really no way to know what their culture was actually like. Oh, here we go. So why would these planets be taken over? I mean, I know there's still people living here, but if it's just ruins, then why bother? Well, this might be stop one on Dark Samus's campaign of total galactic domination of Phazon. Build Phazon armies here, and then the biggest bring them in. The biggest obstacle in her path right now is the Galactic Federation. So let's hit them up where they're the most active and take care of them right here, right now. Ah, okay. Because these are the ones. These are the guys who are smart enough to use Phazon in their in their suits to combat us. And they also have Samus Aaron on their payroll, so let's not kill two birds with one stone here. That's the way I see things, anyway. Alright, you unlock this second lock. That part lifts up. And that kind of... Uh, well, can't go that well. way now. I do like the idea of secret army being made on almost barren planet. Just gives a menacing vibe. Like, yeah, I've got something cooking. Just let me cook. That's a gel puffer. Hi, gel puffer. We've Good. seen like we've seen these things before, but they function the same way. They just look a little differently. To give some differentiation between Prime 2 and 3. And there we go. Great first puzzle. Check, We'd love to see it. Check this. I like that. What is that? Yeah. What? Oh. Right, get the fuck out here. Get out. Did, what's that? Oh, that was just in the way. I thought it was like a collectible or something. It was just in the way. Okay. You can only yank in one direction, right? Yeah, because, you know, you can only do the, so much of the nunchuck. Okay, I was hoping it wasn't, you know, yank to the left or the right in order to move it. No, 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 nothing like that. Okay. Got hoppers. They hop a gym, they're kind of spongy. Kind of annoying. I thought one of them was just playing dead. I was like, wow, what a diabolical first enemy. Free tank. Really? Yep. Cool. That is acceptable. Oh, by about the halfway point, we're going to have all the E-tanks at this rate. How many E-tanks are there again? There are... Twelve or something like that? There are fifteen. Oh, fifteen. Okay. It's a nice number. Good for collectibles like this. I like it better than nine. Or six. Uh, ow. Ow. Those are Shriek Bats. They've been a pain to scan. We'll have other chances, but... It's gonna be tough. I've got faith. Because by the time you find them, it's too late, they're coming towards you, and your your scan just just does a... Oh! Well, we don't need to worry about that right now. You want to scan this thing behind them, right? Mm -hmm. Not the thing coming towards you, right? Shellbug. Yeah, shellbug. Ow. Oh, alright, I, I like this. So, take out that thing. Charge it, charge up, and shoot this yellow thing here. Ooh. Then turn around and... Oh! Convenient. That's cool. That leads right to a missile expansion. Holy shit. How about that? I'm liking it. A frissle t uh, free missile tank will do just fine. Ah. Alright, these are phase on plants. Gotta go into hyper mode to take out these. Ooh. The bulbs come back. Nope. Oh, well, okay. yeah, I don't think they do anyway. So when you're using hyper mode, does your health steadily go down? Is that how they measure it? Esse or essentially, yes. It uses the E-tank that you're on. And then when, if, if it runs out completely, that's just down one energy tank, correct? Yes. Okay. Now, if you happen to use your last energy tank and then expel the phase on that way... Game over? You turn into Dark Samus and it's a game over. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Where great power corrupts. Yeah. Well, I think our friends have now decided to show themselves. Ah, What's up, guys? These are rep. Ah! This is a reptilicus. <laughs> that just gives me vibes of we'll be right back. Da, 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 da. 
What are they just throwing like their pelvises at you? What are they doing? Like they're like like whips or whatever. Yeah, yeah, whips, axes, boomerangs, okay. whatever you want to call them. There we go. There we go. Two hundred kills. How about that? How the hell have you? Well, you've been killing a lot of bugs. Doing good. Playing Samus, the awesome exterminator. I think he was trying to T-pose for dominance. It was unheard. Can't hear you over your death, T-pose harder, noob. See, I think these folks are the ones who are still kind of hanging around. Like, I don't know if they came here after the war and just settled and just settled in, or if they were here because of the war or whatever. But th this is how you find out the lore about this place. They're behind these doors, most of them. Hmm. I kind of forgot one, actually. We'll, we'll go back and get that here in a sec. It's pretty. But this is about... The Age of Science. The ships of Brio sped to the stars in all directions, bearing the banner of peace. Soon we found stellar brethren in the Chozo, the Luminoth, and the Yila. Starborn knowledge came to Brio, and we gladly sent our wisdom to our new friends in return. The hearts of Brio were filled with pride, and they honored the Lords of Science for all the wonders we provided. As the time of new Brio came to be, the old ways faded. The cries of joy from those who honored science, uh, well, well, science overtook, basically. They were friends with the Chozo and the Luminoth. So there was trade, there was uh, conversation, there was diplomacy. It was uh, a, a golden age where we where we talked about science and technology, all the wonders that that all that, all, all that can give us. Now I kind of love that almost every single civilization that we find in the Metroid universe kind of gets screwed over by science or by their own science. <laughs> Because it's uh, more expensive to have a thriving civilization to go through yep. rather than one that's already long dead. Correct, correct. That, it's that isolation that uh, is what Metroid's known for anyway. See, I just like, uh, you know, the exchange notes with uh, the Chozo, and it's just like, hey guys, this whole Metroid thing, bad idea. It's like, well, no shit, Sherlock, we tried it one time. Oh, we weren't even going to attempt it. Check this, get enough of these bugs, you'll start floating. That what? Thing the, that thing at the top will start eating you. Uh oh. But we can just avoid them if we steer just right. Float our way oh, to the I, top I over here. I kind of love that. Yeah, right. And what a what a great move on the on the part of the monster, <laughs> just sitting there, just like I'm, I'm setting up shop here. This is free food. Even though it's more linear, they still put a lot of neat stuff, and it's still very much a retro world, you know? Uh, I just love seeing everything, you know, all the all the different architecture, and the different plant life and flora, and, and of course, all the different animals, and the little intricate ecosystems, and the histories behind each of the planets. I'm all about that stuff. Now we got the other half of our grapple beam. The beam itself. Now we can swing. This early, wow. I think they wanted to really focus on the nunchuck, because you're going to be using both the nunchuck and the Wiimote. This being one of the better motion-controlled games on the Wii, I'd say. Use our gimmick. Use our gimmick. It actually works! What yes. did I say? Yes! They didn't just half-ass it or try to get some kind of gimmick. They, 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 they like, made an actual game around it. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. We you love know, to see it. Yeah, do. You all always love to see it. Because most of the time it's just like, hey, we made a game and we also farted out some motion controls in here, kind of shoehorned it in there. Hope you guys don't mind. Even like Mario Galaxy, we're just kind of just shaking the Wiimote to spin like that. That felt natural. That, that was the whole game was made around that. Yeah, it also added so much to the traversability, to the way you moved in that game. Oh, I love Mario Galaxy so much. Then you got Skyward Sword. I want to hurt things. Hua, hua, hua. I still remember when it messed up on the E3 stage. I've I felt bad at the time. I'm not really feeling that bad now. Oh, I don't feel bad at all. I remember watching that with, like, zero internet in a hotel in Florida, and I was just like, oh, wow, the new Legend of Zelda, wow! Uh... <laughs> well, what I love is that uh, now that uh, the HD version came out on Switch, which took out a lot of the motion controls, it's everyone's like, hey, hey, see, now? Right, right, we can give it a chance now, right? It's it, it's good now, right? And, and I'm like, nah. No. Yeah, what... it's, it's nowhere near good. Yeah, one of the worst things is hyper-focusing on the direction you need to slice. Like, against a boss, that's fine, but against a normal enemy, it's really annoying to try and, like, angle it 55 degrees in order to slash the guy. It's just like, no, 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 just keep it simple. The stamina wheel is one of the worst in gaming, I'd say. Just 
Kiss like, your game. Keep it simple, stupid. Like, they fixed it so hard in Breath of the Wild. They kept it quiet. They, they, it's uh, much more simplified. But in Skyward Sword, like, it warns you when you're when you're an eighth of the way left and you got a quarter left, you know, bip, 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 it, it keeps making noise. It keeps saying, hey, 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 you're going too fast. You're going too fast. Whenever you pick something up, it says, oh, hey, you found this thing. Now, just so you remember, I'm going to put this in this part of your of your backpack. All right. Right here with the rest. OK. OK. Back at it. You can also tell it was a tad restrictive because puzzles were built around it running out quickly. They would put stamina fruit in a line so you could actually make it up a hill. It looks awful. It's just like, all right. I missed this lore earlier. Gotta get the lore, man. Read up on your Br 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 Brionian and their golden age. Look now to the past, uh, Paradise on Arrival. Hear the songs of joy filled the streets. Everything was good when science was good. Science! Of a new Brio. See this and see the beginning of our downfall. Uh, uh, oh. oh. Ah. See, this is what happens when Neil deGrasse Tyson becomes king. <laughs> science rules. Is this a new guy? Oh no, it's the same guy. Yeah, same guy. Everyone always gives Neil deGrasse Tyson crap. It's like, <laughs> yeah. I, I get I get all his jokes. <laughs> I understand all of his jokes. It makes sense to me. I, I get his humor, and people are just like, stop over explaining things. Like that's that's the humor. That's the humor. That was not meant to be derogatory, by the way. <laughs> I just thought it'd be funny to see Neil deGrasse Tyson with a crown and a scepter, just going, science. <laughs> It would be like, actually, the point of a monarchy is outdated in this modern age. Of course, then again, Neil deGrasse Tyson was king here, it probably wouldn't go to shit as easily either. I can see the scientific use for phase on around they're, here. They're, they're right over there. Yep. The shriek bats are right over there. Just, just it, nudge. It just, it, yeah, just nudge. It just, it just won't lock on. It just won't lock on. It'll, it'll do everything else. Okay. So try to get a little closer. It, it just won't. It just, just won't. a little quicker. By the time I get close enough, they're on the way! Oh, and I can't scan them! Uh, I can't uh, scan them! Uh, I just won't! It, they, they just uh, won't! They uh, just uh, fucking uh, won't! That was scary. I have a couple more chances, but... Uh, so annoying. I have faith that you can get it. Ooh, I just noticed the design on the Morph Ball now. Cool, right? Oh, that's cool! I don't know if I mentioned it either, but uh, we can now jump in the Morph Ball. Yeah, when did we get that? We could always do that. Just by shaking the Wiimote, we can just do a jump. Shaking the Wiimote? Not my first option, but it works. That's fine. Uh-oh, these guys. Yeah, I remember these guys. Weren't they called, like, Bombos in yeah, uh, Metro Prime 1? Yeah, basically. They, they changed their design a little bit, but their function is still the same. Alright, this is neat. Yeah. Yank him over here, essentially. Ooh! That and... Hook it up some power. Yank it over there. Electricity get to the guy. HD Yank TV. It over there. Oh my god, we might even get 16K on this big screen. Alright, plasma screen's working again. Let's go. Oh, who cracked it? So this restarts the satellite link up to, to the downed GFS ship that we were on. You just gotta... Turn it on here, but just touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. I love that every piece of tech uses the exact same flip of the switch. Well, it makes more sense to have that and then to, have to insert your your gun into it. Correct. And fire. Correct. <laughs> yeah. On. It's like, why does everything only take Chozo power suit? I'm trying to get some money from the ATM here. And then it just starts stu shooting hundos at you. <laughs> no, no, that's too much. Um, it could be considered stealing. So that's unlocked the Fiery Air Dock and the Thorn Jungle Air Dock. Other two places. So, answer me this. Yeah. Are all of those interconnected? Like, can I get to it on foot, or do I have to go back to my ship? You have to go back to your ship. Damn, okay. Samus, the satellite data has revealed two distinct energy signatures. As you've shown. They must be supplying power to the sea shield. Right. Ah. If these targets are eliminated, the shield will be removed. Fair enough. We are uploading the location of each energy signature. Oh, you don't need to. I, 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 I got it. It's, it's fine. But go to the map screen. Okay. And like it. We just looked at it, but I guess we'll take a closer look. Okay, there 
it is. Over here in Brio Fire, it's all oh. the way over on this edge. I was about to say, look at that big boss arena, but no, it's where you can land your ship. And then over here on Wow, look Brio. at that boss. Oh, wait, it's just a place and to... It's over here. Ship. Okay. Yeah, that's unfortunate that they don't connect because it's so close. But it's, it still looks great and yeah, all that. It's there's okay. still interconnect and there's still secrets. Let's go back in this tunnel because now it's on. I'll just jump into open electricity. It's all gonna be K. Okay. We can now go this way. What was stopping you before? This piston. Uh, gonna do a double bomb jump here, like that. Holy crap! Ow! 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 No, that's all right. That's all right. Shake it off. They come up here too, and we also have some adult. Uh, what are they? Growl guns or? These things. They're shooting electricity. Gragnol adults. So you just grab their tails and just pull them apart. Oh. Okay. Dash. Ew. <laughs> you just ripped their tails off. What are you doing? Getting an expansion pack, that's what. Oh, okay, okay. Anything for a free missile pack. Let's tear monsters asunder. All right, we're done here for now. Let's make our way back to the landing pad. It's actually not that far, which is nice. Hi. It's not gonna be easy, though. I do like how they hold up all four of their arms, just going, ah! <laughs> I'll hurt you! Oh! It's like a, they're, they're putting in their submission to be in Monsters, Inc. It's like, I can scare <laughs> children! Rah! Yeah, that wasn't too bad. You're good, you're good. Pretty easy. How do we get up here? Aha! Pull here, and then... Ta-da! Ah, oh, that's lovely. It just all lands perfectly. But nothing is ever easy! I knew it! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! Oh. Okay, not what I thought. So, uh, these spiky things are called hopper hives. Because they drop hoppers. And here's an alpha hopper! Oh, oh, oh no. That tells me they've been affected by, uh, Phazon then, if they're alpha. Yeah, they're looking pretty ingy, I'd say. So, uh, what you could do here is you could, uh, take them all out one by one, or, because you're close enough to the ship anyway... Just do go so yeah, just go hyper. Just go hyper. They'll keep showing up for a little bit, and this is the best way to take care of them quickly and easily. Is that Phazon that you're able to pick up, or is yep. that just... So you can keep hyper mode active. But the Phazon itself will, will go away. That, that Phazon are health pickups. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, oh yeah, no, Phazon's good now. It, it, it's helpful. Yeah. Just because nobody's died to it doesn't make it good. We'll be the first. <laughs> Hi, ship. I missed me. It's good to see my own shining face when I come back. Uh, I would love it if you looked into the, the front windshield of your ship and two eyes stared back at you. It was like, uh, so you want to get a car but have like a hood on it? It's like my face. <laughs> exactly. Got like a smug like. Uh, like hey, got, hey, like hey, three, good looking. Like the three horse face or whatever. <laughs> Next time on Metroid Prime Three, we're gonna head to one of the other two energy signatures on Brio and figure out if we can take out this Leviathan seed or not. See you then. Oh.